Hey, it's Joe Lines, and uh, in this example here, I'm walking through using the uh, Reddit API, and I actually I found I was playing with this, and I found a little nuance, um, which is a great example of how you need to play with these things sometimes. So, um, on a web page, I found a source that said uh, you can basically do an API call and get the top 20 um, doing it this way. I'm going to swap out this with uh, Auto Hotkey. I'm going to take this URL and say, all right, here's the top 20. All right, let me cut that so I don't mess up my uh, um, your, uh, my API call. And so, notice when I when I paste it here and hit enter, oh, come on, hit enter, see, and it's returning it in JSON, which for me is harder to read, but see, there's, there's a lot of data here, right? Um, pulled back a lot of stuff, information. And uh, let me let me see if the XML is a little easier to on the eyes to to follow. Uh, all right, not ready because it's not pretty. Um, in more ways than one. But anyway, so so it returned all this stuff. The first one was JSON. This one's XML. And what was interesting was in my API call, I was mimicking that. I went through and said, go to the same endpoint. I said, build the query string with a count of twenty. And so basically, I'm not even passing my credentials here. I can comment these out. And uh, and I think that's part of the problem. So I'm gonna say message box query string, and you're gonna see here. <coughs> so it's just putting a question mark count equals twenty, which is the similar to I should have left it on the page here. Is it still open? Yeah. So back over here. That was the full URL, and all I'm doing here with my message box, see, with the query string, I'm putting ampersand count equals 20, so here's the full URL, was what you see up above, and then there's that count equals 20, which is my query string. So I'm going to get rid of this, I'm going to get rid of, I'll leave that here so we can see it, and you would think, let me even comment this out, as with the other stuff I've been doing, so just pay attention to, let's bring in this up to here. This is what I've been doing in my previous videos, just demonstrating API calls. And when I run this, it, it, it here's the thing, is it worked, but notice there's, hey, there's not nearly as much text here as in the other one. What was interesting also was the, the XML, it wasn't getting truncated. See, feed is still here, and when we look back at the browser version, um, feed, and look at all this stuff, so feed is still the closing tag at the end of this one. Right, and it, it was uh, it was interesting as I couldn't put my finger on what was going on, and so what I did was um, I opened up Developer Tools uh, in this is Chrome, and I said, okay, let me I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Network tab, and now when I reload this, we're gonna see it do the API call from my browser, right? And it's parsing it here. We can see here now. Um, now I'm looking at the stuff of here's the general information, response header, so this response header is turned back, right? Um, but this is the request header, so this is what was sent, my browser sent over. And I tried taking the accept, I tried taking this, and that is where in my API call, let's see, accept. So I added this, now we're going to start moving these things around here, right? I'm going to move them back in. So I added that into my API call. Remember this this right here is my API call, um, and I'm returning the data um, right here, and um, that didn't change anything. I still got a very short amount of data, and so I came back here and I said, "Okay, let me let me turn on the encoding, um, and this this will um, it compress it." And so I so I did that. Um, I know I did it. Maybe I I got rid of it. Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna undo that. And I'm going to move that back up into my API call. And and let's do the next one. That I set the user agent because I also thought, hey, you know what? If if Reddit doesn't think I'm a browser, maybe it's not um, returning the data. So I'm going to save this, reload it. Let me go ahead and clear this out so you can see. So And run it. And basically, I still have, you know, not a lot of results. And then I thought, you know what? Because I'm not passing my credentials, right? I noticed I found that post and I didn't feel dealing with the authentication stuff. I said, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to grab my cookie. So this was the cookie from my browser, right? And I copied this and I came into here and that's what I did here. Let me uncomment it. So I set my cookie and I pasted in everything in here. So this is one really really long line if I 
turn off line wrap, um, you'll see it's just one long line of data that's basically saying, to, what was at the end there? Interesting. Um, I was looking at this in that reference Google. Anyway, um, now when I move this up into my API call and I run it, notice how much more data now I'm getting back. Right, and this I think I'm pretty sure this is this was my issue. Um, the other thing I I did here was um, I'm just showing the response text that comes back, um, and and what are we playing with right here? Um, you know, there's so much stuff it's hard to tell. So it's XML, and so I have a function. Um, this s XML pretty function is going to take that response text and um, format this XML so it's much easier to read. And so I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it. And that's going to structure the XML, which is just a little bit easier to, to identify as you're reading through it. Um, it tries to put things into a visible thing of, you know, here's the high level, high level, this this is, here's an entry under the title, and then here's the author, which is part of that, and you know, it gives you the structure, right? So these are child nodes. Um, that's the parent node. These are all at the same level. Um, and then theoretically, I think if I scroll down here, this will, all of this stuff is about that, should be about that first post. Um, and no, oh, here we go, and then we're into the next one. Um, and of course, I would parse this XML, and uh, and that would um, let me grab just the things I want. I'm wondering here if I, I think on on, no, I'm Joe Taz. I think on this, and that is not. Oh, I I forgot. Site is funny. You can't search there. Let me paste it up here, and then uh, I'm curious if any if I. Um, this has nothing to do with the API call, but so I, I do have apparently one of the top posts in that forum. Uh, not able to attend. So this was one of our webinars. I can already tell webinar. Um, oh, of the survey. Let's see if there's any other Reddit user. Um, so this is just returning back the uh, the results from my query. Anyway, I thought that was a good example here of how even though I'm not using my authentication credentials uh, because it wanted the OAuth 2 and I just was being lazy didn't want to deal with it that I borrowed from my cookies and was able to basically fake it and return back the, the data I wanted.